Good evening, everybody. It is nine o'clock, and I looked at my sheet across there on my other monitor, and it says 9th of July. That's because I haven't changed the date on it. <laughs> it's the 16th of July, and it is Vapor Scene. And we've got quite a lot to get through um, in the next 36 minutes, because I'm going to be slightly over. <laughs> but nothing can start until I've played these. It's the titles. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Yes, good evening, it is Tuesday and it is Vapor Scene and oh God, it is hot, is it not? Very hot. And as soon as I'm finished, I'll be turning my lights off and opening my window. Uh, I can't have the window open while I'm on because my cats will jump through it, <laughs> which would not be good. But there you go. I've uh, got quite a lot to get through on this week's show. Uh, a couple of videos from last week from the European balloon popping escapade uh, and we're going to start with some news first of all that I've gleaned from the Twitter feeds. Uh, first one I've got for you. The uh, anger over tobacco lobbyists. Uh, Europe nears rules, oh, sorry, nears new rules on e-cigarettes. Lots of talk about these damn lobbyists that we are being lumped into uh, and in today's Mail Online I saw that uh, certain MPs took free tickets to Chelsea Flower Show from certain tobacco companies. Oh yes, have a look at the full story on that. Um, it doesn't help as much, does it? When MPs are allegedly getting freebies from tobacco companies. Uh, and uh, the final one is um, this one. The EU vote on electronic cigarettes makes no sense. Well, yes, we do, we know that. Uh, the Telegraph has reported that quite nicely and there's some nice little quotes in there. Uh, Fraser Copper from uh, Totally Wicked. It will result in many smaller and more innovative producers of e-cigarettes going out of business. Yes, it will. We know that. It's going to be very grim. But, you know, we know what happened last week, but the fight's not over yet. No. So let me refresh your mind. Here's the latest SWAF video, which has been going around on Twitter. Um, have a little look. My name is David Dorn, and I'm a presenter on VaporTrails.tv, um, an online web channel that's dedicated to electronic cigarettes, their usage, and a little bit of entertainment. We're off to Brussels, and we are going there as consumers. We are, indeed, all consumers. We're e-cig users, that's what we are. On the 10th of July this year, the Envy Committee, which is the committee that's responsible for the health and well-being of every European citizen will be voting on the various different amendments and in fact the directive itself, whether it goes through, how it gets amended, what it says. The original says that any e-cigarette that has a liquid that has a nicotine level above four milligrams in strength and two milligrams in amount in it would be classified as a medicine. So there's a whole train load of people going out from the UK, there's people coming from France, there's people coming from Germany, they're coming from all over Europe, from as far afield as Greece. And we're going to take 2,000 black balloons. We're going to blow them up using lung power because we're electronic cigarette users. 
so we've got the lung power to do it. And those 2,000 balloons will represent the lives that if the European Parliament gets it wrong, will continue to be lost to smoking related diseases every year. If you were an MEP, I'd be saying to you very simply vote for the Consolidated Amendment 58 to protect electronic cigarettes for all people in the EU, everybody in the EU. It's your job to protect them. Vote for Consolidated Amendment number 58. That's all you need to know. Nervous about not making an arse of the whole thing. I want to win today. We've got to win today. That's, that's what it's all about. We've got to win today. That's all it's about. Failure is not an option. Well, I was having this conversation with somebody over dinner recently, and the sort of starting point was. Well, the best thing that people can do is to, is to quit smoking and quit nicotine completely. And I said, we were both having a glass of red wine, I said, is the ideal position on alcohol that you should um, you know, quit drinking, quit alcohol completely? Uh, or is it okay to be a moderate drinker and enjoying a nice glass of red wine over the dinner, just as we're doing now? And they had to basically agree that actually zero drug use wasn't necessarily the desirable optimum end, uh, especially in this case when it was their favoured drug uh, and we were consuming it at the point we were discussing it. Once you've established that nicotine itself, okay, it has pleasures, it's addictive, uh, but it's not that harmful, the calculations about the best switches start to change. And I think if people want to carry on using it, as long as they can reduce all the harm to themselves, or virtually all the harm, and reduce all the harm to other people, avoid all the antisocial aspects of smoking, what's, you know, what's to stop them? Why, 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 go, why go another step further? What's the point? So we're here in front of the Parliament. We're at the first ever international demonstration of electronic cigarette users and vapors. There are people here from all around Europe come to give their views on the nonsense that's going on inside there. It is not a case of e-cigarettes alone. It's e-cigarettes versus tobacco cigarettes. And we should never make tobacco cigarettes um, easier to get than e-cigarettes. That's madness. Why is today's vote so important, Dave? Well, if they get it wrong, if they decide that e-cigs have to be a medicine, that effectively removes them from the grasp of the majority of European citizens. If they regulate them sensibly as a consumer product with some control on the quality of liquid and make them as available as tobacco cigarettes are, in other words, you can buy them everywhere, then 700,000 lives that are wasted every year to tobacco-related diseases will be saved by the use of e-cigs. It's a no-brainer when you think about it that way. Um, I just think it's great that you've um, taken the time to come here and to, to make your point because um, people often don't pay attention, sadly, in the UK to what the European Parliament is doing and they don't realise that, in fact, you know, we MEPs are here to work for you and if you give us information, if you contact us, that's what we do. And um, so I think it's a really positive development because you, you know, you've realised that you can engage with the Parliament and that you can get things done. These balloons represent the lives of smokers that would be saved if the European Parliament and Envy Committee got it right today. These are lives that can be saved by e-cigs because e-cigs save lives!
Again, E6 saved lives! That was awesome, that was. I thought it was a great way of making a lot of noise. Uh, it's important that MEPs understand that there is a, a huge consumer support for uh, having these things as consumer products, not medicinal products. In the UK, the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency has already signed up to the idea of medicines regulation and that's supported by the Department of Health in England. Some people say, well, we're leading the way, but I think we're leading the way in the wrong direction. If they banned it outright, I'd have to be forced back onto traditional cigarettes, which myself and my family and my new granddaughter wouldn't want. I wouldn't want. I want to live as long as possible to be with my family. And the only way I can do that is to keep the nicotine that I enjoy by vaping. Popping the balloons was apparently heard by MEPs inside the European Parliament, which is something else, and they were asking what it was about. The big shame is Amendment 57 went through, not 58 the way we wanted. But that's not the end of the story. There's more work to do, and we're going to start doing it very, very soon. Yes, and that was what the swath cameraman Andy uh, did during the day. And he managed to get my worst side, which is the back, <laughs> on a lot of shots. But there you go. Nice bit of VT, excellent editing, uh, and puts across rather nicely uh, what we did. And you're going to get my take uh, on the footage that I did in part two. Uh, let's see, 12 minutes past, yes. Let's go into the ad breaks. When we come back, we'll have this week's show as yours, uh, and then you can see um, see what I did. Hmm. Now then, here we are. Here's the ads. See you in two. Vapocene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. Now it's back to Vaporscene on Vaporchells TV. Vaporscene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. And we're back in the room. Hello. Uh, just looking at chat there during the ads, and uh, Maddie, 
You'll just have to wait and see. In about four minutes, <laughs> you'll find out whether you're in the video or not. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, let's go to uh, this week's show is yours. I've had uh, quite a few new pictures in this week. Uh, and then uh, we'll show you who's won this week's prize. And you can probably guess it's you related because this show today is really what happened last week and bits from what happened last week. So let's have a look at Show Is Yours. And now it's time for Show Is Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK. <laughs> Show is yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK. And that was this week's Show is Yours Gallery. And uh, just reading through chat there as that was going. <laughs> and you know, I really wish I was a paid tobacco lobbyist because then I could have an air conditioned studio. Because <laughs> I'm baking. Um, yes, yeah, so let's go to who won this week. And this week's winner is. It's Liam Bryan who sent me this picture of vaping implements and beer from Wednesday. So well done, Liam. I will send you an email after the show uh, and I'll tell you how you get your bottle of juice courtesy of John over at Flavor Art UK. And if you would like to uh, go into the, the pot for next week, you know what to do. Vapor scene at vaportrails.tv. Send me your pictures by Tuesday at 12 o'clock and I will make damn sure that your picture goes into that week's video. And you could well be pulled out of the hat just like Liam was today. Okay, so 
We're going to go into the bit of ET I did last week, uh, last Wednesday in Brussels. And then after that, I've got some, some news that I'm going to put your way. Oh yes, so see you in a few. Man with camera. Hello, Maddie. I don't look this good this time in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Is it daylight yet? So you all are e-cigarette smokers and That's you're going to help right. them? Yes, well, we're going to the EU to basically have a process of you know, uh, 2,000 black balloons, which symbolises the number of smoking deaths every day. And we're going to burst those balloons in front of the EU Parliament. And today they actually vote towards some of the legislation, which will go to a final vote in September. in front of the European Parliament and all those people over there are coming across here to join us. Yeah. 
I look like small cake. Whereas obviously I, your devices, you guys are doing anything like cigarettes. Blown up with his own lungs. The capacity greatly improved. And the sound you can hear is me blowing up balloons in the background. I've lost count now of how many balloons I've blown up as I've been filming, but I'm just basically filming and blowing as I go. And then pass them to other people. <laughs> it's what we have to do. Back around front. You all recognise Daz from Saber Six. Daz, what does this mean to you today as a vapor? Because you're not here for safety, are you? You're here as a vapor. I'm here as a vapor to defend our right to vape. Um, I hope the decision that's made today goes our way. Um, the people need to know that these cigs matter. They save lives. I'm a vapor. I do choose to vape now instead of smoking. I don't want to go back to cigarettes. That's why I'm here today to share my support. Where are you from? I'm French. You're France? Yes. Yes? Are you a vapor? Yes. 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 Here. Hey, there we go, see? <laughs> Come on. French no vapor. Boy. We have Spanish? Yes. Spanish and I'm Dutch. Spanish, Dutch. English. 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 We've got English. We have German. Spanish. Vapors of Europe are uniting.
And one more time. We're all environmentally friendly vapors as well and picking up all the balloons that have been burst and disposing of them properly. Did him enjoy that, Daz? Very good. Do you think they heard it? That was loud enough uh, for what it was going to be. I've seen a video stream, they're all hiding under the desk. <laughs> this poor guy is so tired from uh, bursting balloons. He's, he's, ha he's having to lie down. So my friends, that was it. In front of the European Parliament, popping as many balloons as humanly possible in that time. Uh, some got away, um, but then some didn't. So, more amendments to come, but for me, back to the studio. <laughs>
as I possibly can. I've only got half an hour with Mrs. McCavin, but I'm going to get as many questions in as possible uh, and not let her give me huge long answers. So, yes, I'm going to get as much as possible. Right, that's it. I am going to go <laughs> turn my lights off and uh, open my window. And I will see you all next week. Uh, don't forget that uh, tomorrow night, Gary and Sav. Thursday night, not sure yet. Keep an eye on the forum and on the Twitter for more information. Um, Sunday, hopefully, Mr. Kitson will be back with uh, Dave's Tackle Box. Gary is going to be a glut of a punishment and be more tin in his tip with Mark. And I will see you next week. Whew, that's it. Tatty bye. Vapacine is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. <laughs>